if you are lucky enough to be born under the zodiac of the crab then you have the superpower of understanding and knowing how to process and relate emotionally to others like no other member of the zodiac cancers known as the crab are born between june 21st and july 22nd they are cardinal signs which start the season of summer cancers are ruled by the moon the moon in turn controls or rules over emotions so if you can imagine cancers can and will be pretty emotional to say the least however however that is also one of their highest strengths so what makes the cancer so special cancers are intuitive creatures unlike other um, members of the zodiac who if you put them in a group setting a social setting they're out socializing going from group to group communicating laughing drinking doing everything within their power to enjoy that moment cancers on the other hand are more like the fly on the wall they're watching they're paying attention they're studying they know who's who what's what what motivates who what intentions each character in the room has that is cancer because why they are connecting with everyone in the room based on their emotional frequency their emotional output cancers are highly loyal individuals they are very persuasive like I told you they should just walk around where Superman has the S on his chest the cancer should just have an E on their chest because their E stands for empathic emotionals. Like they literally can connect with you before even speaking with you. Um, they know who you are before they can even say hello to you. A cancer can read you like a book. And it goes into their ability to just connect non-verbally with individuals. And um, that plays a very strong um role in their lives because most cancers um find themselves in the role of leadership in their intimate lives they'll either be the son or daughter that's supporting the family or they will have had um high levels of responsibility at a very young age and it's not that they ask for it or it's their fault it's just the fact that that's just how their lives came together um now um how they stay so strong i don't know because um i'll paint the picture of what i see every time i meet a cancer you're ruled by water water is connected to emotion right water is connected to the sacral energy of the chakras which is connected to our emotional body you're ruled by the moon, <laughs> which is like a double whammo of emotions. And yet um, that never overwhelms them. That is um, a strength for them. That's something that they use to really connect and understand the world. And that actually, um, they're known for being homebodies. Cancers create some of the most beautiful homes home environments that you will ever ex have a chance to be a part of like a cancer's home is a home that a lot of thought has been put into they because they spend a lot of their intimate time at home they enjoy the beauty of their environment and the harmony and peace that goes into their environment and that plays a high um, reasoning behind um, 
the fact that they are so connected to their emotions because your emotional body is um most of the time the truth about you where um you can't verbalize in words what you're experiencing your emotions will let someone know exactly what you're going through and i think because cancers are so connected to that aura of the human species it forces them to be more um precocious with um their daily lives and with their home life so that is our um our beautiful crab when it comes to career the cancer makes a great caregiver cancers are amazing nurses politicians cancers are um amazing doctors they um a cancer would be a great daycare owner teacher they really do um connect well with hum humanity on a level that um other zodiac signs don't connect on um but don't play them for fools now um <laughs> Cancers, um, now think about it. If your superpower is understanding the emotional state of those around you, what would that make you if you are in the dark? You would become manipulative, conning, you would become vindictive, and most times, if you're in your dark space and that's what makes the cancer dangerous because um, they know how to empathize with people based on their emotional um, state, but they also know how to use that emotional state for their advantage. And um, a cancer that is not properly raised or properly trained becomes a very manipulative, vindictive, dark aura human being who most people probably don't speak well of however a balanced cancer goes on to aid their immediate community their surrounding their family and those who they interact with at work in such a positive and vibrant manner that their presence is truly missed when they're not around so um when it comes to the cancer being a water sign their siblings are the scorpio and the pisces and um i believe i am done with you mr and mrs cancer um that's pretty much it june 21st through july 22nd emotions are your strengths and also your weaknesses um you guys have high imaginations if you're not careful your dark side makes you manipulative and vindictive so be careful of that and um know that that high level of responsibility you had has children within your household is just a natural place of birth like it's your natural placement in your life like you were born for this so take care of yourselves and keep your emotions balanced so you don't enter into the dark side and that was the cancer we are going into bright yellow roaring leo